Hello students, today we're doing lesson 4.1, which in your book, the, the title is called Using Properties of Equalities. And we will be talking about those qualities, but um, those properties. But what I like to call this is one step equations. So I'd like you to write that on your paper also. We will be doing two step equations later on, but this is one step equations. Okay, so these are not a difficult thing. In fact, they're so some of them are so easy that you can just do them in your head. But guess what? I don't want you to do them in your head. I need you to show all your work. And um, that's going to be your assignment after your homework for 4.1. You'll be having an assignment with one step equations and pretty much all I'm grading is that you show your work. You also have to have the right answer, but the answers are gonna be so easy, you'll have those right. So let's go over what properties of equalities means. And what it basically means is if a lot of teachers show it like this, they, um, let me erase that. Uh, they may have what they call a scale. So if this is a scale and I want it to be even on both sides, I would have a five on one side and a five on the other side. So it doesn't tip up or down, right? Okay, let's say I add one on this side. So now that scale is gonna go down, right? Because I added one to it. But I don't want it to go down. I want it to stay equal. So how do I do that? I add one to this side. So in equations, this uh, tipping board would be uh, equal or balance board would be equal in the middle and if if it's staying the same, then it's not gonna go up or down, okay? Um, if I did not put that plus one on here, then it would look like this, right? The scale would go like this because this side would be five plus one, which is heavier than five, okay? We don't want it to look like that. We want it to balance out. So what I'm gonna do is every time I have one side of an equation, so let's say I have six over here and six over here, I'm gonna do the same thing to both sides. So if I minus one here, I'm gonna minus one here. And now that would be five equals five, and it's correct. If I did not do this minus one, then I would have five equals to six, which does not work. So I don't wanna do that, okay? I wanna always do the same thing. So let's say I have 20 on this side and 20 on this side. I can also divide, if I divide by five, and I do it on this side also, then I would have 20 divided by five is four, and four equals four. Okay, so doing all this work is just showing you that what I do on one side of an equation, I have to do on the other side, or it's not an equation anymore. It's not equal anymore. I want it to remain equal. So now we're gonna do some examples, actual examples of what you will be doing in your assignment today. So, or your homework today. Example one looks like this. X plus 10 equals 142. Okay, you may be able to figure out the answer. In fact, I'll tell you the answer. X is 132. Okay, so almost everybody can see that, what X is. But I want you to, starting now, showing your work appropriately. If you're not gonna show your work, then you're not gonna get credit for it. And the reason I do this is because later on, we have equations that will take up the entire paper, like half of a sheet of paper. And if you don't know how to show your work, then you can't do those problems in your head. So I'm gonna teach you how to show your work uh, the right way so that when we get to those longer problems, you'll be able to do them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on both sides of this equal sign to get us the correct answer. So we already said the answer is 132. Let me show you how to show your work for that. Now, I like to change colors because it just shows it better for you. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get this X by itself, okay? I'm gonna kinda of change that to red X and for that to be by itself, I need to get rid of the plus 10. So how do I do that? I'm going to minus 10. If I minus 10 on the left, I will have to minus 10 on the right. Okay, now I have an equation here, or some work, not really an equation, but some work to do. So to do that, I'm going to subtract, or I'm gonna have plus 10 minus 10. What does that equal? 
plus 10 minus 10 equals zero. So that means I just have X left over. And on this side of the problem, I have 142 minus 10, which is 132. That's what I said our answer was right when we started. And that is my answer, X equals 132. So what work do I want you to show? The work I want you to show is this line. Well, actually, I want you to write the equation, which is here. This is the equation. Then I want you to put your property of equality here, which is really just uh, what you're doing on both sides to get this side or the X side to equal zero, right? We want that side to just have X and nothing else. And then the other side will give you your answer. Okay, so if you don't show this part of the equation or this part of the um, solving, then you're going to get it wrong, okay? In your book, and sometimes, okay, you do not need to write this. In fact, I'll erase this all afterwards. Sometimes you'll see in books that they'll have an equation like this, and they will put the minus 10 on the same line. So they'll put minus 10, minus 10. And you can do that, but I prefer it underneath it like this because it's easier to see and it's easier to line things up. So try to do it the way that I'm doing it instead of the way the book does it. But if you do it the way the book does it because that's easier for you to see, that's okay. It's just harder for me to see. Okay, let's go back to um, examples. So we're gonna have example, sorry that took my thing away. Okay, example two. So for example two, we're gonna have x minus 17 equals negative 35. Okay, maybe I didn't talk enough up here about why I minus 10. So I minus 10 because it is the opposite of plus 10 and it makes that zero. So on this problem, example two, it's a little bit harder because I don't just know right in my mind what the answer is. So I actually have to do some work here. So what I look at is that this says minus 17, and I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna add 17 here. Actually, let me do that in a different color. Make it a little bit easier to see. So I'm gonna add 17 on the left side, and when I do that, I have to do it on the right side. Remember, we want our equation. Um, remember our little scale? We want it to stay balanced. So we want both sides to have the same thing. So that means that negative X plus seven, I mean, I'm sorry, negative 17 plus 17, that equals zero. That is all gone and all I have on this side is X. So I'm gonna write X. Now on the right side, that does not equal zero. That one is I need to do the actual work. So in your calculators, you do not need to try to do it all in your heads, that's why we're letting you use calculators now, is you need to put in 35 negative, um, my, or negative 35 plus 17. If you don't know how to do that, um, you need to look up instructions on your calculator or you can talk to me and I'll try to help you with your calculator. I usually do that in class. I walk around, show kids how to do negatives in their calculator. Um, Almost all calculators, if you got the right kind, have a negative sign. Okay, so the answer, if you put that into your calculator, was negative 18. So that's my answer for this problem. Um, okay, before we go on to the next two examples, I wanna go back up here and I wanna show you how to check your work. So I'm gonna do that in yellow. I'm gonna write next to it, check. Okay, and I'm gonna ask you to do this on your paper. So how do I check my work? You're gonna go back up here to your original equation. In fact, I'm gonna just write it down here so that you can see it, because I have a lot of mess up there, right? That's my original equation. And instead of X, I'm gonna put the answer, which is 132. Okay, now I'm gonna solve this problem on the, on the left. I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna solve it. What's 132 plus 10? And I'm gonna write it underneath it, 142. And then on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and write the what I have written down because that tells me that yes, this does check out because they are equal. 
if I just put 142 underneath there, that doesn't show me that they're equal. So this check is gonna also be something that you're having to do on your problems. So let me show you again another check with example two. So how I would write this is I'm gonna take negative 18 and I'm gonna put it in place of the X. So instead of X, I'm gonna put negative 18 minus 17 equals negative 35. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a minute so you can look at that. Negative 18 went here where the X is because that was my answer for X. Then I wrote minus 17 right here and then equals negative 35. So I just rewrote the equation out here. Now in my calculator, I'm gonna put negative 18 minus 17 and that's gonna give me negative 35 in my calculator. And that means it does equal the other side, which is negative 35. So I write that down and that is my check. Okay, now I want you to do two of these on your own. So you're gonna pause the video and I'm not writing example one, example two, again, I'm just gonna give you the problems because they're a little bit different in the book and I wanna make sure that you understand this. Okay, so I want you to do X plus three equals five. Everybody should be able to know that answer and I want you to do the check for it, okay? And then I also want you to do x minus seven equals three. And then I want you to check it. So I gave you super easy ones because all I want you to do is show me that you know how to show the work. Do not just give the answer, show the work. So hit pause now and do those two problems and then come back. Okay, you should have come back by now. So I'm gonna show you what you should have written on your paper. And if you did not write it exactly like this, you need to focus on, on writing these the, the way that I'm about to show you on your homework. Okay, I'm gonna switch my color to green. And since this is plus three on this first one, I'm gonna minus three on both sides. When I do that, these two make zero, so they're gone. So I get X equals two. Okay, and everybody knows two plus three equals five. But we're gonna show the check over here. Your check should look like this. Two plus three equals five, and then five equals five. Okay, and that's your answer. Actually, I want this in a box, and then I want the other one to show these two steps, two plus three and five equals five, to in order for you to get it right. Okay, next one, x minus seven equals three. Well, since this is a minus seven, I'm gonna do the opposite and I'm gonna plus seven. Why do I do plus seven? Because negative seven plus seven is zero. So those go away and I get X equals 10. That's my answer. But I wanna make sure it's my answer, so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna put 10 minus seven equals three. See, I put in the 10 for the X, then I have minus seven and that all should equal three. So now I do the work in my head, 10 minus seven, or on my calculator, if I'm not sure, and I get three equals three, and that tells me that it checks. Okay, let's go to example three. So now I am going to example three. This one is different because I have three X equals nine. Okay, that means I have three times X equals nine. And I am always gonna do the opposite or the inverse of what it is telling me on here. So this is telling me times, three times X. So I'm gonna do the opposite of times, which is divide. So I'm gonna divide by three, and I'm changing my color so you can see what I'm doing. The green is the original problem, and now I'm gonna divide by three on both sides. It's the same thing as our little balance beam that we talked about, if I had three over here, and three over here, in order to keep it equal, and I divide by three, I have to do it on both sides, right? So make sure that you're doing your problem, whatever you're doing, on both sides. So now this part of my equation does not equal zero, like it did up here, but instead it equals one, right? And that's because I'm multiplying now. So I have one times x, and what does that equal? It just equals x. So really these are going away because they're making a one now. And then over here on the other side, I have nine divided by three, which is three. And that's my answer. And then I can check it 
by going back to my original equation, which was 3x equals 9. But instead of 3x equals 9, I'm going to put 3 times 3, because x is equal to 3. 3 times 3 equals 9, and then I'm going to solve that. 9 equals 9. So that checks. Okay, that's a multiplication one. Example 4 is going to be a division one. So these ones look a little bit more complicated, I guess, because they have division in it. So x divided by 5 equals 21. So I'm going to do the opposite of divide, and I'm going to multiply by 5. Okay, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So now on, I should have done that in a different color. I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, let me fix that. Okay, I should have multiplied by 5 in blue. That way you can see the green is the original, the blue is the new. So I multiplied on 5 on both sides because I want to keep them balanced. And these two cancel each other out. They make just one. So I have x equals, and then I need to do 21 times 5 in my calculator. Or if you're good enough to do it in your head, you can. Just make sure it's right. And I get 105. Now I'm going to go over here and check it. So I have 105 divided by 5 equals 21. See, I'm doing this green part right here. But instead of x, I'm putting the answer that I got. Now, in my calculator, I'm going to do 105 divided by 5, and I should get 21. Do not just say, oh, she just wants me to write 21 times 21. We're doing this to check our work. So you need to actually put this in your calculator and make sure that it equals 21. If you get the check over here right um, and your answer was wrong, then you didn't do your check correctly. Okay, now I'm going to give you two problems like that to do. And then you'll have to hit pause and come back and do them. Okay, so let's do 4x equals um, 20. And then I want you to check it. And let's do x divided by 6 equals 3. And I want you to check it. Okay, so hit pause. Work on those two. Remember, I want to see all your work. If you don't show all the work, then you will not get credit. Okay, go ahead and hit pause and do those problems and then come back. Okay, so on the first one, for now that you're back, 4x equals 20. I'm going to do the opposite of multiply because it's 4 times x. And I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. That will give me x equals, remember these two are going to go away, so I only have x, and x equals 5. Then for my check, I'm going to do 4 times 5 equals 20, because remember that was 4x equals 20, so I'm going to change the x to 5. And 4 times 5 is 20, so 20 equals 20, and that's the check. Your work should look exactly like my work. If you did not show this green part on both sides, you will get points off or you'll, you will get the whole thing wrong. So make sure that you wrote that. Okay, last one. I have x divided by 6, so I'm going to multiply by 6. I'm going to do the opposite. So these two cancel, and I get x equals 18. Okay, and now I'm going to write it up here. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. And then I'm going to do this part in my calculator. 18 divided by 6 is 3, and 3 equals 3. So you should have, your work should look exactly like mine, okay, except for this circle right here. That's the only thing you didn't have to write. Everything else should look just like mine, okay? If it doesn't, go back and say, why aren't I doing this right? Okay, that's it. You will have your assignment written down, and then um, for your homework, which has will be the odds in the book so you can check your answers make sure they're right the only thing it doesn't show you is the steps so you need to make sure that you're right in the steps and you need to be checking um, everything else uh, the next worksheet will have just a couple of problems like this super simple because all i'm checking is that you know how to do it okay that's it thank you everyone